Alright, what's going on guys, we're in the project back at it again in here for the video for you guys for today. And today, basically talking about WWE No Mercy 2017 pay-per-view picks and predictions, my thoughts and opinions on what I think is going to be happening for No Mercy. So, got the tablet right here. And as well, the match listings as always. It's time from CBS. And we're going to start things off right away with the Cruiserweight Championship match between Neville and Enzo Amore. In this one, you know, having a little bit more realism to it, they actually acknowledged about the stuff that's been going on with Enzo Amore backstage and everything that being well liked and all that stuff. So, actually, The Miz brought that up a little bit more, but that's been, I guess, kind of added more into this Cruiserweight title match. So, I don't know if I see Enzo Amore winning or not. I mean, I did see something a while back on. You know, a new title, you know, it's still the same Cruiserweight title, but with a different look, so, you know, I don't know about that just yet, but I am going to actually go with Neville Evil Nevile on this one to retain the Cruiserweight Championship. Then we get into the main card where we have Finn Balor and Bray Wyatt. I don't know why they're calling it Man vs. Man. It's kind of weird. I mean, I kind of see the point, but just having it be Man vs. Man is a little odd, but, um... You know, it is a toss-up. It can go really either or. On the other side, you know, Bray Wyatt could have more wins going for him and stuff like that, which would be cool. But I'm actually going to go with Finn Balor on this one to continue things. And we'll see who, basically, he'll move on forward to and see what other, you know, matches we'll see from Bray Wyatt and other feuds, too, for both of them, uh, for Finn Balor and Bray Wyatt. So there you have it with that. So I'm going with Finn Balor there. Then the Intercontinental Championship match, The Miz and Jason Jordan. And this one, I think it's time we see a new Intercontinental Champion. I'm going to go with Jason Jordan in this one. I think that would be pretty cool to see. Since he's been facing, you know, guys like John Cena and Roman Reigns and getting that big push already. So, you know, with that being said, we'll see what happens with that. But Jason Jordan is my new pick. And actually my main pick, if you will. Uh, the Tag Team Championship match, Dean Ambrose. And Seth Rollins taking on Sheamus and Cesaro. And with this one, this of course is still continuing and everything. So I do see The Shield, Dean Ambrose, and Seth Rollins to continue as Arena's Tag Team Champions. I kind of want to see something different out of Cesaro and Sheamus as good as the bar is. You know, I would like to see something new out of them. So there's that. And we got the Women's Championship match, which was looking to be a Fatal 4-Way. Has been upgraded since we got the return of Bailey. So we got now Alexa Bliss, Sasha Banks, Nia Jax, Emma, and Bailey. So, um, you know, with this one, I would like to see a new champion. I don't want to see the hot potato anymore, especially when they do this for the Raw Women's Championship. We've seen that before for the title and stuff. It's just getting really stupid and annoying. It should be... You know, at least having the champion be there for a couple of months or so, at least. It doesn't have to keep changing, like on Raw or every pay-per-view and stuff. Because that gets kind of repetitive and stupid. Uh, but with this, you know, I can see Alexa Bliss retaining. Um, I wouldn't mind Nia Jax, and I'm starting to actually grow in her and stuff. Uh, Emma, I don't know. Maybe we'll see. It's been a long time. I don't think Emma's ever been champion and women's champion as of late yet. And then again, Bailey could be able to get her championship back, and we'll see how things are gonna go. Which I kind of see more. I'm going towards more Bailey to win to see a new women's champion, and when Asuka is ready to be able to debut on Raw, then face Asuka, and then. We'll see how that goes. So Asuka and Bailey should be interesting there. Uh, so I'm gonna go with Bailey overall. Then we get into one of the big matches that should possibly be on WrestleMania, but is on No Mercy. It is what it is. And we got John Cena and Roman Reigns, and this one has been more at all John Cena on this one. I will say that in terms of the promo battle and everything, since you know Roman Reigns has been really kind of hesitate on you know going back and trying to talk back at John Cena, but it really hasn't worked to its full potential, really, so, uh, I do, um, you know, will say this, you know, I do enjoy the, the build-up and everything, so it's been actually not that bad, um, you know, it wouldn't surprise me if Roman Reigns does win, 
I can kind of go either way, but I know John Cena's going to be busy doing the movie and stuff like that. I had a latest uh, Bumblebee movie from Transformers, the animated movie, I believe. So I know I'm going to be doing that, so I'm going to go with Roman Reigns on this one. And uh, yeah, and there you have it with that. Then we get into the Universal Championship match, probably one of my favorite matches that I am looking forward to. Brock Lesnar and, yes, Braun Strowman. And with this one, uh, I think it's only fair, too, to have Braun Strowman actually get the championship. I would like to see that. I've been wanting to see that for quite some time now. So I think it would be dope and cool to see Braun Strowman as the Universal Champion and to see who would actually want to go up against him. Uh, it can be anybody. Uh, even Samoa Joe when he comes back from injury or anybody else, something different, or maybe even possibly Finn Balor and stuff like that. So, you know, just to name a few to see who would actually go up against Braun Strowman as the champion. So, you know, Brock Lesnar, I heard that he might actually still remain champion and stuff like that. You know, I guess that's okay, but, you know, having him not be there as much, you know, kind of does suck and kind of takes away of having the championship be defended a lot, too, which is also annoying at times, too, since you don't get to see him as much. So, that's why I'm going with Braun Strowman, to have a new champion, and you know, actually create some interesting feuds, too, for the Universal Championship and have Braun Strowman in the main event picture and stuff, since he's been really, literally on the road for quite some time. And, uh, yeah, so, there you have it with that, and overall predictions, thoughts and opinions, what I think is going to be happening this weekend, and actually, literally, the day after my birthday, so, my birthday's on Saturday, no mercy's on Sunday, so, got a lot going on, got Chris, Boston Fan 79v1 coming on in, so, and maybe some videos this weekend for this Sunday, who knows, but, until then, let me know what your thoughts and opinions are for No Mercy. What are your own picks and predictions? Leave that in the comment box. Continue your likes, your subscriptions. Of course, definitely subscribe. Of course, hit the notification bell to keep all up to date with all my videos and stuff like that. And until then, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Whatever the hell that next video may be. Until then, I'll catch you again. Again. Then. For next time. Peace.